Luxembourg National Library by Bowles plus Wilson plus WW plus Architecture plus Management in Luxembourg. The task of the Patrimonial and Universal Library is the housing and protection of cultural and intellectual texts, a foundation stone of the intellectual community. For the BNL a compact, energy-efficient building volume houses a wide range of functional entities. A transparent imposing, but at the same time inviting, facade fronts onto the Avenue John F. Kennedy. Internal functions unfold sequentially from this entrance gesture, foyer plus, cafe, with upper-level conference plus seminar rooms, next to the reading room, a landscape of terraced workstations and bookshelves. The principal building block is located deep within the building, a central and compact archive over five levels. This secure core is encased by public spaces and forms a plateau on top of which the largest bookshelf area and reading deck are found. The principal façade material is large format red precast concrete panels, a patchwork due to a variety of surface treatments, water slash sand jetting, acid washing. The architectural intention is homogeneity, a material unity of the overall building volume with an undercurrent of surface articulation. The archive plateau is encased in a bastion-like wrapping of stone-filled gabion cages. Planning prioritized energy efficiency. Technical installations take second place in favor of an activating of the building's thermal mass to engender a sustainable interior climate. Geothermal heat pumps are installed below the foundation plate and on the roof photovoltaic panels. Interior materials were chosen for their thermally absorbing capacity to allow night purging and activating of the building mass to dampen temperature extremes. The cradle-to-cradle -cradle principle was wherever possible the referent in choosing materials. The wide-span roof structure in laminated timber is via air circulation within the roof layer, also thermally activated.